Hello friends, welcome to Tampa, Florida. I'm here at the Tampa Bay Brewing Company in Oldsmar. There's two locations, one's close to downtown and one's here in Oldsmar. Oldsmar's a pretty interesting town. The founder of Oldsmobile Cars was also the founder of this town. Interesting story. Let's go drink some beer. Very big. I can tell this is more of the restaurant than brewery. I think the other location is kind of the same way, but they do have some good beers. You can find them in Publix or, you know, distributed about decent stuff from what I've had, but I like to see if they have something here that you can't get anywhere else. Nice bar. And they have liquor too. Of course, it's their restaurant. You it's the going thing. Their beer list looks pretty good here. The bartender suggested the Hop Solo 21. It's a 7% New England IPA. And the Zongo here, that's a 7.6% IPA. I'm not really feeling that right now, though. I did see the description on this Kentucky Uncommon. I've brewed one of those in the past. It's a 7% as well, but I like that description. I'm going to go with that. Kentucky Uncommon, please. Thank you. Let's see how uncommon this Kentucky Uncommon is. Oh. Okay. It's a little on the bitter side. They advertise like a biscuit finish or a bread finish. That's what I was going for. I don't really taste that in a heavy way. It's good. Actually, it's got this like cider taste to it. It's like a little, little cidery sweet and it's pretty, pretty good. Oh, I don't think I would do another one, but it's not a bad beer. Well, I am sipping this beer. I'm taking a look at their menu here. Okay. Fried pickles. I always like those. Yeah, they got, they got the, the regular stuff you always see. I get excited when I go into these breweries, you know, like looking forward to seeing what's on the menu and talking to people, and then I do this often. I look at the menu, and I'm like, oh yeah, these beers look good, I'll just get this one. And I didn't look on the back, and I realized they have all these other beers on here. I wonder why they didn't have a stout. They do, they have a stout, and a porter, and an imperial, Baltic porter, and you know, a red, and all kinds of other stuff. I was looking up on the TV screen and it switched to a different menu and I realized, oh boy, I might be missing out on something good. Like the Fatal Ophidian, this one, just a sampler, cinnamon, marshmallow, hazelnut coffee, let's see. Imperial Stout, 8%, kind of sweet on the marshmallow side, I like it, I'm going to get one. Fill her up. Yeah. Yep. It comes in a 12 ounce pour. That's unusual. Usually when you get these higher octane stouts, they come in a 10 ounce. It's 12 ounce. Not bad. Tampa Bay Brewing Company has a mug club. I like their mugs here. A lot of brewing companies have these mug clubs, as you probably know. I like what they do here. They make you customize them. They don't make you. I'm sure they're not forcing you to customize your mug. They might make you write your name on it, but it seems like they just give it to you. You can do whatever you want with the mug. I like that idea. I've never seen that before. Upon closer inspection, it looks like a lot of stickers have been placed on this. Looks like they have won some awards over the years. Nice work. I can see why. Their beer is pretty good here. I like the beer. I like the environment. Even though it is more of a restaurant style than just a brewery. I like it. Great Catherine. What's the name of this one? Oily black, they say in the description. I don't know if I like that, that term. I do say it looks like motor oil, but oily black sounds different to me for some reason. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, vein in here. Ooh, smoked. Baltic Porter, 8%. Super smoky. Wow, I, I like it. Super smoky. Kind of like. You know that concentrated smoke stuff that you, you buy at the grocery store to like fake smoke your your barbecue? It tastes, it tastes like that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. It's not bad. It's, it's in there, but it's not like pungent. It's almost pungent. 
you like smoked beers, you're gonna love that. I'm gonna not get a full pour of that. Though. It's just a little sampler. This came out yesterday, actually. Oh yeah? Yeah. Right on. I've asked two bartenders, and both of them said their favorite beer was the Zongo. It came out yesterday. That's a quick time to make it your favorite beer. It must be really good. I'm about to taste it, but I want to read you what some of the description says. It's a dry hop double IPA. It's 6.7%, as I showed you in the beginning. Copious amounts of Citra and Sabro hops. I've never heard of Sabro hops. There's a lot of hops out there, a lot of varieties. Yep. Straw in color, I would agree with that. Let's see if I agree with the, the flavor profile, I'm making it my favorite beer. No, it's not my favorite beer. It is a good beer though. I like it better than the first one. I don't like it better than the second one. I like those stouts. You know, I love those stouts. It's a good beer though. I like it. It's got a nice finish too, a little orangey, maybe just some coriander type of something I'm tasting in there. It's smooth and the the finish is very nice. It's a little more bready finish on this than that Kentucky Uncommon. I like it. I'm not hungry at the moment, but the menu does look pretty good. I mean, it's the standard stuff you always see at breweries, but the food does not look standard. People are getting these chicken wings all around me, and the smell of the hot wings, the barbecue wings, and the pizza somebody's eating over here, it is awesome. It's kind of making me, I'm not, I'm full from lunch earlier. It's kind of making me hungry, just the smell is great food in here, man. Something I just noticed on the menu was the date. They date every one of these, it looks like, on the day it's printed, which is today, March 25th, 2023. There's swag section. I got a lot of stuff. All right. Beer, two, go. Here's your friend, they say. And I, I believe that. First time I've ever seen a sombrero hat at a brewery. Okay. I like their t-shirts. It looks like they got their glasses up there, some signs, or sombrero hats, face mask. Oh, hey, dog. Thanks for joining me today, friends, at Tampa Bay Brewing Company here in Oldsmar, Florida. It's been a great experience. I like the beer here. I like the environment. They got this outdoor bar here and stuff going on. It's cool. I like this place. Stand by for my ratings. Tampa Bay Brewing Company is really good. I enjoyed their location in West Chase, not Oldsmar. Oldsmar's across the street. I looked it up. At any rate, their beer is going to get a four. Their staff is a four. The atmosphere, I'm going to give them a three. Their average as a restaurant the location also a three and the price a three i'm going to give them two bonus points one for being family friendly and the other for having their own kitchen and what seemed to be very good food that gives them a total of 19 points thanks for joining me today friends at tampa bay brewing company in west chase florida i'll see you at the next brewery